Hey, we're taking a little night drive in the Wrangler 4xe to talk about the max regen function. What you may not know about the max regen function is because of the accelerated rate or the excessive deceleration rate, I guess I should say, the designers found it necessary with uh, great wisdom to include a brake light activation when max regen kicks in. So right now, I do not have max regen turned on. I just let my foot off the accelerator, I'm slowing down to the stop sign, and there I put my foot on the brake pedal, and of course the brake light comes on. But here's what, here's where this gets interesting, now there's nobody on this road here, so I'll be able to demonstrate this really easily. If I'm driving along and uh, do not have the max regen on, I'll let my foot off the accelerator and then put my foot on the brake and you see the brake light come on. Now let's do that again, only this time we're gonna turn on the max region in the middle of that. So I let my foot off the accelerator, I'm pushing the button, but I'm not putting my foot on the brake pedal. And as you can see, the brake lights come on by themselves. I'll put my foot back on the accelerator and the brake light goes off. And uh, I'm gonna speed up here to about 50 miles an hour and you're gonna see kind of, it's kind of cool how this works. It's very human-like in how it operates. So let's go a little bit faster than 50. Let's go 50, there's 53. I'm gonna let my foot off the accelerator. Now, I have not touched the brake pedal, but you will see the brake light coming on and off. It kind of mimics a human being. I'm turning on my right turn signal. I'm actually turning in here. And you can see that the, uh, the brake light kind of stays on there. And uh, I'm gonna go in here. Now I'm just gonna let the max region slow me down all the way when I come back around to this stop sign and you'll see something pretty cool in how it responds. So I'm going to come up to this stop sign and I'm going to let off the pedal, the accelerator, and you can see it slows down and you can see at one point it will let off and allow the car just to creep. So if you learn how to manipulate the uh, max region enough you can get to the point to where you're you're just barely using the physical brakes at all and um, and it becomes kind of second nature you can start one pedal driving so i'm going to turn in here to the right and i just let off the accelerator pedal i did not put my foot on the brake and i'm going to put my foot on the brake right there and then put my foot back on the accelerator you can see that light goes back off so it's a very cool, uh, very cool setup. I'm going to turn back around and come back to the stop sign and see if I can time it right. I'm still learning how to time those uh, those slowdowns and decelerations just right, but I uh, I'm going to try it here and see if I can um, see if I can get get to where I stop at that stop sign down here without hardly using any physical brakes at all. So I'm going to speed up just a little bit. To 30 miles an hour and then uh, I'm probably letting off too early and then let off now I'm letting the max region do this deceleration and I probably did it a little bit quick there I didn't time it really well but I can put my foot back on the pedal and just ease up to the stop sign and I am just now putting my foot on the brake pedal so there's something cool you can do with max region yeah you can almost do one pedal driving and if you're out in the country in the middle of the night and nobody's around, you may be able to do just one pedal driving at stop signs and everything and, and, and not have to, not that I would ever recommend anybody running stop signs, but if once you learn how to manipulate it and learn how to uh, anticipate its deceleration rate, oh, that was a little bit fast coming into this turn, but you can, uh, you can kind of get to where you can one pedal drive and uh, that's just something cool about the uh, max regen and how it operates and it's something to keep in mind if you're in highway traffic uh, you, you do have to remember that your brake light is going to be coming on when you let your foot off the accelerator pedal so if I let off right now the brake light came on and uh, if there was somebody behind me I mean they would know but if you were on the highway doing highway speeds you would uh you know you're going to be flashing that brake light at people so just be aware of that as i come to this stop up here i'm going to i am going to try to time it well i'm just going to feather the pedal a little bit to where it slows down at a rate that i want it to slow down at and feels more natural and um there the the 
the max region just let off and now I'm in creep mode and I just used the brake pedal just in the last few feet there for a stop sign. So just wanted to give a demonstration of how that works so you know that that brake light is coming on and, and letting people know around you that that's happening. This is very common in, e in modern EVs anyway and modern uh, plug-in hybrids that the brake light does respond with the regen to let people know around you that you are going to slow down a lot faster than most normal cars do. So there it is. Hope you appreciate that and enjoy that. Take care. Thanks for watching.